I'm here in Medjugorje and I'm next to the former house of the visionary Visca, which is over there. And I'm with, what's your name? My name is Mark Bowen. Where are you from, Mark? I'm from USA, uh, Oregon. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And first time here? Second time here. Why do you come back? Well, we came back as a uh, pilgrimage with our parish back home. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So why are you attracted to come back? Uh, attracted to come back to, um, I guess, continue the initial journey that we experienced the first time here. Mm -hmm. um, and what I found is uh, they definitely tied together. Mm -hmm. They definitely tied together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What was the first experience when you came? Uh, first experience here was uh, um, had the pleasure and uh, uh, unbelievable opportunity to actually experience a uh, apparition here. And how was that? Amazing. It was incredible. Huh? Yeah, it was incredible. Mm -hmm. And uh, can you describe it when you're in the room, or was it in the room? Or it was not in the room. It was at Blue Cross. It mm -hmm. was with uh, Mariana. Yeah. It was uh, actually one of her. Uh, last apparitions that she had had before the COVID. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, you're lucky because now she's at home. I right, two times right, she was right, at home. right, right. And how was that? Can you describe that atmosphere? Oh, the atmosphere was, uh, I don't know if you've ever experienced it, but mm -hmm. uh, the atmosphere is prior to apparition. It's uh, um, people singing music, praying rosary in all the languages. Mm -hmm. um, actual apparition itself was uh, really incredible. Um, experienced uh, an intensity in the air like I've never experienced before. Mm -hmm. um, there's some other things that kind of took place at the same time that uh, I keep kind of personal. But, mm -hmm. but And um, what's so beautiful for you about Magic Line? Uh, just the, well, being from USA, it's a completely different culture but uh, um, just experiencing the the reverence of the people and and how how uh, uh, reverent they are to the faith mm -hmm. you know and that type of thing it's, uh, it's and you always have been a Catholic yes yes why why are you so convinced you may make a little promotion about our faith what, <laughs> what is the well special about I our actually faith? gave a little testimonial the other night with our group that uh -huh. uh, you know, when people ask me that question, you know, I keep it really simple, and I say that, uh, uh, you know, why am I Catholic? Well, um, Jesus started the Catholic Church, and uh, that's good enough for me. Mm -hmm. uh, that's good enough for me. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. And what do you like most, Eucharist? Profession? Definitely focused on the Eucharist. On the Eucharist. Yes, why is it definitely. so beautiful for you? Uh, hard to explain, but uh, again, I have a. I have another little analogy on the Eucharist. Um, a lot of people kind of question the uh, divinity of the Eucharist. Is it really the body and blood of, of Jesus? Mm -hmm. And uh, I've kind of, uh, one day just kind of came to an analogy that really works well for me. Uh, I used to, back home, I used to coach a lot of uh, youth sports and that mm -hmm. kind of thing. And, in which, which one? Football? American football? American football, basketball, and oh, baseball, cool. and yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. yeah. But anyway, we used to, uh, we used to be, we were really kind of into it a little, probably a little more than we should have been, you know, but, but uh, we used to uh, film, do well, game film, we call it game film, and when doing game film, you would sit and watch it and watch it, uh, you would run something and then you'd wind it back, mm -hmm. so you would be able to watch it again. And one day it just hit me and came up with the analogy that uh, what if you were able to take every communion service up to this point in the world and wind it all back, where would you end up? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Do you know the answer to that? Well, not now, tell me. You'd end up at the Last Supper. Mm -hmm. oh. Powerful. Yeah. Yeah. And you know a lot of people go to confession here in Metzogoya. Uh -huh. And what would you say, that, what is the beauty about confession and why should people not be fearful if they have been after a long, long time, they want to maybe now go to confession, uh -huh. and what will the priest think? Yeah, all I can really say about confession is it's another thing that uh, kind of in awe of here. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the lines for confession and the, uh, um, 
because again, we don't have that back home uh, to that degree. It's a, uh, it's a uh, pretty, pretty awe-inspiring to see that. I mean, the the uh, when you go to mass prior to mass, they're just lined up, you know, several people deep waiting to go to confession, and that's really inspiring. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what would you tell people who might not be fearful to go after 20 years? What will the priest think? Some people think that, you know? What would you tell well, them? Well, I, I don't know that I can really speak to that. Um, um, you know, I think confession is kind of a personal thing. Mm -hmm. um, but like I say, it's a... Uh, it's, uh, you met beautiful priests here? Like, pardon me? You met beautiful priests? Oh, yes, yeah. Well, and they are. Yeah, beautiful you priests, be beautiful, beautiful, them, beautiful huh? nuns, beautiful, yeah. you know, beautiful people. All yeah. around here, no? All around, yes, yes. But also in, in America, you know, confession, I think they are just... It's Jesus who talks, no? Right, oh yeah, oh and yes. lovely priests. Yes. Not like it's in the media, completely false image, no? It's a talk, you can talk to the priest, tell them. It's for free. For right. American people, right? Yeah, no? yeah, yeah, it's a free yeah. thing. Yeah. You don't have to pay a dollar for it. Right, absolutely. Yeah. And you pray the rosary every day. Why? Why are you so convinced? I can't believe it. He is a uh, sportsman. He plays the. He prays the rosary. Yeah. Well, that's one of the, of the main things we took home from our first mm -hmm. first experience here. Uh, my wife and I uh, have prayed the rosary every day since that time. Mm -hmm. uh, we pray it rain or shine, doesn't matter what the weather is, doesn't matter what mm -hmm. situation we're in. We could be in a uh, situation with uh, a social situation or something and we can look at each other and say, oh, we have not prayed the rosary today and and we'll step out and go go mm -hmm. make sure we do it. But so, Did it change your marriage to pray the rosary? Our marriage has always been our marriage has been beautiful. I mean, I see yeah, your wife. She's next to me, and yeah, can yeah. I show you? <laughs> Here she is. Here she is. And what would you say about the the rosary prayer? Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. We will not miss a day. It it means a lot to us. It means a lot to you. Okay. Just like that, if you want. Yeah. But that's okay. Yeah. It means a lot to you. It means a lot to us. Yes. Uh, and yeah. yeah, it means a lot to you. Yeah. It's beautiful. And you know, there are a lot of people here. They look for vocation. Yeah. Uh -huh. And um, what would you give them as an advice? How to find the right partner for marriage? How did that happen for you? Did you pray? How could they find the right partner? And how can they have a good marriage? There are a lot of marriages breaking up now. You know, it seems right. Well, I mean, good marriage. yeah. If if uh, God and Jesus and and Mary and are are at least somewhere in your marriage, I think you're in pretty good shape. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and how, how can they how can they find a good wife or the vocation? What would you tell them? How would they find a vocation? Yeah. Uh, As a coach, you can maybe. Yeah, that's that's kind of a tough question. Again, uh, a vocation meaning within the uh, the faith like, or the like church. Like the faith or? in the church and uh -huh. also the right yeah. partner. Uh, to me, I think that's a calling. Yeah. I think that's a calling, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's kind of whether you choose to answer it or not. Mm -hmm. I guess. Um, I don't think, I think it has to be authentic and I don't think people can talk you into it or, yes. you know, I think it has to come from within. From the heart, yeah. within, authentic as Our Lady said, pray from the heart. No? Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. And at the end, why, what would you tell people maybe, why should they come to Medjugorje in one time? Oh, wow. Uh, Just from the heart, what do you feel, what would you tell them? Uh, well, again, coming from where we come from, mm -hmm. um, just the just the idea of how you know the faith is so real here the faith is so real here um, you know that again that's hard it's uh, that's why you're attracted that's why right, to experience right. that authenticity of Catholic faith you know? right yes okay. yes thank you so much for that beautiful interview you're very welcome you're